Okay, we're just waiting for a few people to sign on. But I'm about to make a yummy cherry dump cake in a slow cooker. And we need three ingredients. So once we get a few people signed on, then we get started. Okay. So, you know, when I make cakes in the crock pot, I love to use those slow cooker liner bags. And if you don't have them, you can also use a turkey bag and just cut it. And if you don't have that, you can just spray your crock pot or your slow cooker with non-stick, with non with non-stick cooking spray. But if you don't have any of that either, you can just use some butter, that's what I did, and just grease your pot so your cake doesn't burn. All right guys, so let's get started. You're here with the Kraken Mom and I'm in Pittsburgh. Where are you guys at today? What state, what city and state are you in? And I'm just actually gonna wait for a few more people. We have about 173 people on. And I can't hear you, they're saying. You can't hear me. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? You know what? Uh, I was actually, my headphones were plugged in. <laughs> All right. So, if you didn't hear me in the beginning, I am making a slow cooker cherry dump cake. And it's so easy. It only has three ingredients. And um, I was just waiting for a few people to sign on, and then we're going to get cracking. And you're here with the Crock-Pot Mom. I've actually been uh, having moms and dads and women and men from all around the world um, actually taking over my page for um, a stream, and they'll do like a live stream and cook. We just had Jody on, which was awesome. She did some uh, healing tips, and um, I love what she was doing today. And so we'll also continue to have moms and dads and men and women from all over maybe take over the page and cook from the, from your house. So if you guys are ever interested, make sure you email us at crockinmoms at gmail.com. All right, we're going to get started. Let's see who's here right now. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Tara. Jack Lee from Illinois. Hi, from Illinois. That's how I'm supposed to say it. Everyone tells me that. Oh, we're here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Hi, Amanda. And we have Alexis. Dan should make this. Yeah, Dan, you should. It's only three ingredients. You're just going to get a box of yellow cake mix. You're going to get a can of that cherry pie filling. And then you're just going to get a half a stick of butter and you're going to melt it. And, you know, I have some here. It's still melting. So I just got out of the microwave. And uh, so I'm almost ready to go. This is so, so easy. And then, I, like I was saying in the beginning, I don't know if you guys heard me because uh, I had my headphones plugged in. Uh, when you are cooking cakes in the in the slow cooker so they don't burn, I always use non-stick cooking spray. If you don't have that, you can use those liner bags, which are so cool, the Reynolds. And um, also, if you don't have that, you can use a turkey bag and actually cut it. So it's the size of your slow cooker, and then you can use that as a liner so your cake doesn't burn. Plus, when you're done cooking, you could just pick it up, throw it in the garbage, easy cleanup. I don't have any of that today <laughs> because I've been on the go lately. So what I did, if you don't have any of that, I took just a little bit of butter, and I just, you know, spread, spread it on the bottom and around the sides so my cake doesn't burn. All right, let's get started. So right here, I have one, just all, this is all you need. Make sure it's class. You can use classic and it's moist. Yellow cake mix. If you want to change this up and make a chocolate cherry dump cake, all you do you're gonna do is get that chocolate cake mix. So you're just gonna get a box of it right here. Boom. Okay. And then you're gonna get a can of cherry pie filling. Okay. Now you know what? You can use different um, types of fruits too. You can make this a blueberry dump cake. You know, I love apple dump cake. That's one of my favorites. Peaches. So whatever kind of fruit you want to put in there, it's really, really easy. And then you're going to melt your butter. Okay, so for the first step is I said you're going to make sure that your slow cooker is lined or it is sprayed. You know, just make sure it doesn't stick. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to dump your classic yellow cake mix or you can get strawberry, I mean, this is yellow. You can use white, chocolate, ch um, cherry. I mean, there's so many different types of um, cake mix you can buy. So just get one box, put that in your mixing bowl, and then you're gonna dump your melted butter, a half a stick of butter in there, and melt that before you put it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just mix that up really quick. See, boom, and that's all you're gonna do. 
Very simple, very simple. All right, so while I'm mixing this, let's see where you guys are from. I'm holding, I'm holding it with one hand, cooking with the other. <laughs> and making sure it's all cleanly, I promise. <laughs> wow, we got Shelby from Kentucky. We have Marcy from Bengal Country. Bengal Country, oh wow. But you're a fan. <laughs> West Virginia, hi Stacy. my girlfriend Stacy's on. And Liz, Louisiana, Oklahoma. Wisconsin. Did you guys, is it still frozen on you guys? Or is it, you guys can see me. Say it's all good, you're not frozen. Because the one girl said it froze on her, but it might be her internet connection. So, you see how I'm just like, I took the melted butter, I'm just mixing this up. I'm just making sure it gets throughout the whole mix. And I'm doing it one-handed, so. <laughs> Green Bay, New Jersey. Hey, we, hi, Janine. She's from Delaware. Oh, Liz, California. Yes, we can make this a weekly event. And you know what? I'm actually, I'm coming to Los Angeles. I would love for you to stop by at UCLA in July. And um, I actually just got word today that I'm gonna be speaking at Leap again. And uh, just good news. So I got to see if it works out for our family schedule. And I might be in Los Angeles speaking. So we'll let you know when that event, if you know, it goes down. We went last year and I spoke in front of uh, 500 UCLA students. And Paula Abdul was there. She spoke too. She was invited. And Apollo Ono and Michael Strangham. So it was such a fun, fun event. It's called Leap. And uh these students are just learning to be CEOs and powerful leaders and just, you know, empower and inspire their, their dreams. And it's just a great event. So you guys got to check out leap.com, by the way. All right, let's get back to this yummy recipe. It's called, if you're just joining us, it is called a cherry dump cake, three ingredients, one box of cakes, cake mix, cakes mix, <laughs> cake mix, and then you're just going to take it in your mixing bowl and then you're going to pour your half a cup of melted butter and what you're going to do it's ready to go, okay? So next thing, you also made sure that your slow cooker had non-stick cooking spray, and it's time now to, hold on, I gotta put this phone down for just a minute. <laughs> you guys are all there. All right, here we go. So then, now I'm gonna, I should get my son to help me hold this. <laughs> he usually does help me, he's a good helper. Actually, he's a good crocker. Now, do your kiddos ever help you in the kitchen? Back. Okay. Can you guys all hear me? All right. We call this oaky cobbler. Sounds so good with peaches. Oaky, oaky cobbler. Amanda Blake, where are you from that you guys call it that? That's pretty funny. I like that. I like that name. We're making some oak, cherry oaky, oaky cobbler. All right. Here we go. So... Let me just hold this for a minute. Actually, can, can you come over here and hold this for a minute? <laughs> all right, I'm getting some spare hands, guys. So, all right, thank you, thank you. All right, so you're gonna take your can of cherry pie filling, and then you're just gonna dump that right in the crock pot. Boom. And if you don't wanna use cherry pie filling, you can use apple pie filling, blueberry, peaches. And you know what, sometimes I use two cans, Today I just only had one, so it doesn't matter though. It's still gonna be delicious. But I do suggest if you're cooking for more people, I mean this is only for six or seven, but if you're cooking for about, you know, more than seven people, I would use two cans of the, of the pie filling. Ooh, crusted pineapple. Oh, that's crushed pineapple. Oh, that sounds good too. All right, next thing, real easy. You're just gonna take your uh, cake mix now that has the melted butter in it. I'm just gonna pour that on top too. Boom. It's so easy. And then you're gonna cover and cook on high for two hours. And you're gonna have this amazing cherry dump cake. You could put uh, whipped cream on top, ice cream, whatever you wanna do. I'm probably gonna have some whipped cream when I'm done. All right, let's get the rest of us in here. All right, guys. So you see how easy that is? <laughs> Can you still hear me? There we go. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is take my for two hours. Look how easy that was. <laughs> 
makes your house smell so good. We do ours with ice cream on top. Oh yeah, I have ice cream too. Oh, and now if you guys want to do a chocolate cherry dump cake, you just use chocolate um, cake mix. That's all. And that's really good too. Yep, you're going to put on high for two hours. Oh, I love apple pie. Apple pie dump cake is one of my favorite too. Okay, so if you guys are just tuning in, we are making a cherry dump cake. And there's just many, many ways you can make it. And if you don't like cherries, you can use apple, blueberry, pineapple, um, any type of fruit filling you got in there. And then you're just going to, again, how I started out was I, I sprayed my um, pot with nonstick cooking spray. I then mixed my cake mix up with my half a stick of butter. And then I put my, on a separate bowl, separate mixing bowl, and I put my cherries in the crock pot. I put my cake mix on the top, on the top of the cherries. And then I covered, cook on high for two hours, and boom, I'm going to have a yummy cherry dump cake and I'm gonna put some ice cream on it like some of the ladies are telling me to do <laughs> yes you could use margarine but it's gonna taste so much better with butter it really is but you if you only have margarine go ahead oh rhubarb oh yeah that would sound really good does the cake mix get crispy it does it does you know what I'm gonna come back when it's done and I'll show you guys what it looks like okay because I know a lot of people say, like, what, what does a cake look like in a crock pot? So I'll be back in two hours. So stay tuned. And if you guys um, aren't able to see that, just check it out for later. I'll post some pictures and make sure that I post the um, recipe in the comment box, too. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Wait, let's see who else is on here real quick. I do want to do some shout outs. I usually do on these live feeds. And, yes, we are going to start doing these weekly. <laughs> Tammy Hill says, I need this now. Yes, it, it does. It actually smells so good. Okay. Oh, I love this one from Robin. She said, a half a crush of pineapple, a half a cup of the cherry with pineapple, and it's like a twist on, on a pineapple upside down cake. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, chocolate chips. <laughs> There's just so many things. Have you ever heard Amanda Smith of a chocolate lava cake? Check our um, Croc and Moms out on our website. It's so good. Oh, someone said strawberry with rhubarb. Yes, that is awesome. You are welcome. Oh, Amanda Sue Blake said yay for weekly. And then also, too, like I said at the beginning of this live video, if you are interested in crocking from your home and want to do it on our website, let us know because I'll let you come on for um, during that time and you can take over Crockpot Moms and show us what you're crocking at your house. <laughs> And someone said, how long do you bake it? Well, we're in a slow cooker, actually. So I have it on high right now. And I'm going to cook it on high for two hours. <laughs> Tammy Hill says, I think, Tammy Hill Root says, I think you created a monster. LOL. <laughs> oh, yeah. These cakes are so easy. And they're really nice to bring to parties, too. It's something so easy. I mean, three ingredients. That's not... A lot and like I said I mean you know it's three ingredients but with that um I said one can of cherry pie filling but if you're feeding a lot or going to a party make sure you get two cans of that fruit oh it's so good Pam uh, Donna says that's really nice of you yeah Donna I'm excited I'm excited to come back on and and see all of you guys and everybody you're from all over it's so I that's what I love about crockpot moms when I created it you know everyone said how did you start all this and, uh, you know, we're almost at a million fans and they said, why, you know, I was a new mom and, you know, you don't, I wanted to really, you know, we're, you're on the go all the time and I wanted to come home to these amazing home, homemade meals. And, um, I figured that, okay, why don't I create a space that like us moms and, you know, women and men from all over can share their recipes and, uh, it's working out. We have got the, some of the best recipes from all around the world. So if you guys also don't want to like, live feed, send me your favorite recipes so I can just continue to share. And I do want to say, like, thank you guys so much for always supporting Crock-Pot Moms. And, yeah, we're going to be back to some more, more live streaming this whole year. I can't wait to give you guys some more summer recipes, too, like a summer jambalaya and uh, just some quick, easy recipes, too. Did you guys know that you can do corn in a Crock-Pot? Yep. Oh, I love this. I love this idea. 
Amanda says, only two hours. I can make this tonight. <laughs> That's what I was thinking because it's nine o'clock at night and uh, I'm going to make this so we'll have this tomorrow too. It's just easy so then I don't have to wait. <laughs> See, slow cookers are so convenient. How much butter? You're going to use a half a cup of butter. Yeah, so let's go over one more time before I get off the feed for the new people that are just signing on. You're just going to get, this is cherry dump cake, you're just going to get one box of the yellow cake mix. You're going to use a half a stick of butter, two cans of the cherry pie filling. Today I only used one because I only had one. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your cake mix and your butter, mix that up in a separate mixing bowl, spray your crock pot before you put anything in there. And if you don't have nonstick cooking spray, you can use butter and just make sure you get all sides in the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and put the cherries on the bottom and then the cake mix on top that's mixed with the butter. And boom, you're going to cover it and cook on high for two hours. <laughs> All right, sounds easy, right? Is anybody else? And if you guys try it, I wanna see your pictures and anything else you're trying. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna walk you outside and see my greenery. I know that Jody today was sharing all her tips. If you guys wanna see some fun home remedies that are in your backyard, if you live by a lot of greenery, uh, check out Jody's page. She did an awesome live stream today. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to say hi, take you outside. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for staying tuned. And I have some really, really good recipes coming to the future. And I can't wait to hear what you're cracking at home. All right, bye everyone. Take care. <laughs>